I'm just spit side, baby. We're here live and direct coming from East Side. Now what side? Welcome back to Pitch Side. We're actually going with that, are we? Hell yeah, man. That was right. beast mode. Just hey. dribbled along yourself. Arsenal, what did you say? <laughs> you just dribbled all over yourself. Who, me? Yeah, you're like, pitch <laughs> Oh, someone's jealous. Same as usual. You're oh, jealous? Really jealous, <laughs> yeah. I'm really jealous of how yellow it is. <laughs> hey, I apologise. Why, why is it yellow? No, it's in between, isn't it? Do you know oh. what? I wore my, my Air Forces, my dirty Air Forces, yesterday on the way to pitch side. <laughs> and I got out the car. Because we, we actually never leave this place. That's and I got, I got out the car, and for some reason, you know, like the sole, the, ring, the rim of the shoe is yellow? Oh, yes, that's <laughs> when they're old, isn't it? Yeah. I was really sad. They were white when I put them on. They were yellow when I took them off. He's spaced out. That is so <laughs> fucking I did not hear a word he just <laughs> said. So anyway, boring. guys, we are very, very close to 300,000 subscribers over on the Woo! YouTube channel. That's Absolutely right. Absolutely massive thing coming for 300k as well. And I'm not just talking about me. We are going to be gonna... recreating the infamous Tenery video. Yeah. Reeves. To completion. Reeves going to... Uh... <laughs> to completion. <laughs> Wait, didn't finish it, did it? No. I, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even see it started. Just the video. It? Only the video stops. Uh, true fact. Yeah, <laughs> someone turned the camera off. <laughs> uh, guys, so make sure you leave a comment down below saying what you want us to do for 300k. Well, we just said what we we're going to do. Yeah, but they might not want that. <laughs> They're well, not top block, mate. We're the bosses around here. <laughs> the top comments might be get rid of Lewis and Theo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you know what? I, I will start, uh, before we get into the old... But they don't even know I'm on this show. Liverpool so. City. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> before we get into Liverpool City, I will say, we, we had a video go up last week where all the comments were like, oh my God, Theo has made the best team here. What a dub. And the video was a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was our lost video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why, though. And, uh, and that means no one listening or watching has actually seen me. Oh, no. Yeah, good. What are you going to do? Holy sh... Mm. So you, this wait, week... A broken, surely... a broken clock is right. <laughs> so twice this... Uh, you is right every 100 days. Yeah, surely you don't care that much. I, I, mate, I care about the opinion. So when the videos years. go live, other than the original bot comments, are you sat there refreshing what people are saying? I wait two hours. I read the comments. 100%. How is that? I read, I read How do you have that much time in your... I read... You're a busy man. Yeah, you I, actually are. You, I've seen your Here's calendar. There is no way you have time to Here's read through the shit first comments I wake up in the morning and I read them and if they're negative, I'm depressed for the rest of the day. <laughs> 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 the day You're great programming sense. yourself to have a shit time. Yeah, uh, one nil. No, I, I actually believe you. You actually do you that. You probably do that. Do. There was definitely no, you, any time you do have a good comments, pitch side comments decide my mood for the day. That yeah, because anytime you, you do have a good time in the comments, you're like, your message straight yeah, in. Yeah, and ironically, right and ironically yeah, yeah, yeah. normally, like, the good comments normally arrive on the day that the sun is out, and bad comments arrive when it's cloudy and doomy. Well, at least you've not told everyone what your kryptonite is. Yeah. And now when people comment bad, nasty things about you, it won't affect your mood, hey, eh? Maybe, but now what I do is, what I do is, I do Goggins. So I I, <laughs> I take all the bad comments. And I'll go for a 13-mile run. I, I transcribe them into audio so I'm reading out like, Theo, you're a big, fat wanker. And in my head when I'm going to run, yeah. it fuels I've actually me. never seen that comment on a pitch show video before. You will so know. clearly you're just recording that to yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're big, fat and ugly. Keep running, fatty bum bum. Oh. Oh, anyway, uh, can you tell that football is just like yeah, a little bit dry at the moment? It's, it was hey, it's not, not, I would say it's not dry. There's like one this good is the most game. most exciting title race in the whole history of the earth. No, but I mean, in terms of what actually affected the Premier League at the weekend, it's nothing it really like, changed. It feels it. like it's an exciting title race, but it's not a title talk, race because it's like... you about Arsenal were top of the league. Yeah, but the no, inevitable no, but term, always in, happens. And we beat Brentford the last in minute terms winner. Of, in terms of that, Huge. like Liverpool Huge. and Man City being a draw... I think a lot of people expected that would happen, so therefore the status quo is exactly the same. Yeah, yeah but it's Stitch great ball. for us. Yeah, and yeah, all. absolutely up the arse, mate. Yeah, no, it's bloody fantastic. What do you think of the game, Thomas? Obviously, we watched it live here on Pitch Live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good game. Give us your tactical it? analysis on the match. Go I on. don't really have any. It was a good game, wasn't it? I Ooh, thought. What did Gary Neville say on the podcast? Yeah, right, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Should we discuss a. That's why you have no analysis. Discuss a controversial talking point, anyone? Was it a penalty at the end? Yeah, you want to uh, I thought it was 50, 50. It's close. The thing is, if it gets given, you'd you, want can it see if it was it, you. you can see it being, you know, it's, not overturned. You'd want, also, you, yeah. If that's your team, you want it. Yeah, absolutely. But I want Liverpool to lose every game. I, it's could, not if, <laughs> I, I said this on stream. I feel like <laughs> if it was outside the box, anywhere on the pitch, that's a free kick. But isn't, that, that is a difference, isn't it though? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> there is a difference with those decisions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, agreed. Okay, right. You're not going to um, get the same decision in, in the centre circle you are in last minute in the penalty box. But do you not yeah? think that's what's wrong with football? 
But no, because it's no one cares about lot, decisions that would, in the you, a lot of it's that the that rushing in. If that genuinely occurred as a penalty, though, that is potentially title deciding yeah. as, as a single official if that, decision. If that foul's given on the centre circle, who no one even remembers it. True, but do you not think that... So it's just penalties. I think you do need to... It, it I does need to be 100% a foul for a penalty, yeah, don't so. you think? Yeah. If it was 2-1 City at that point, though... Give it. Does it get given to keep it, you know, 2-2? Two, two? Are you saying there's... No, because then there's... Bribery. There's less... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's less of a, an official-based outcome. Mm -hmm. You know, when people look back and go, oh man, the officials really decided, well, it was a draw. And subconsciously, okay, you're thinking City's going to get those points back anyways yeah, down exactly. the line. Today's episode of Pitch Side is brought to you, as always, by our friends over at Super 6. And there is a Super 6 round midweek, which you need to get involved in. However, the Super 6 jackpot will roll over for every weekend round in March, which means currently it is up at £750,000 next weekend. So get involved for a free shot at the money. Remember, it's completely free to play. You can also compete against myself, Tom and Reeve in the official Pitch Side Super 6 Mini League. Use the code PTCH23 to join. We'll also be giving away a £100 classic football shirt voucher every single round. So head over to the app or the Super 6 website and simply predict six correct scores to become £750,000 richer because of the rollover. Remember, it's completely free to play. Follow the link in the description down below to sign up now. Well, I mean, the, uh, well the Liverpool got away with one last week against Forest. They got away with yeah. one in the return fixture at City to win the Allison, the, the goal disallowed. They shouldn't have been disallowed. Decisions go forward against everyone. Stop fucking crying. I hate fans. when the people so complain about it. Yeah, I hate when people complain Yeah, but we have to discuss that decisions. on this show. No, no, yeah, we do. But I, 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 I get so bored every week discussing refereeing decisions. Same here. Yeah, I, know, I wouldn't do that myself. Um, uh, I, I, do you know what? I thought Lewis Diaz was quality. And I know he missed a couple of chances, but fudge me, was he unreal? Yeah, but his he, dribbling was he, a he, joke. He, was, he's, he did everything that Doku thinks he is. Didn't he? <laughs> he took people on successfully. Yeah, he was going zigzagging. Yeah, it was like people. getting double teamed every time, just getting down the line, anyways. Yeah. He did miss like three sets. I, that is the yeah, but that's yeah, the point. Yeah. I, I feel like, like <laughs> it's like, he can't be too disheartened because, yeah, he, he missed a couple of sitters. But they were he did bad everything. Well. He he was like he was their best player. I thought. I thought Liverpool and Van Dijk was quality. Yeah, Vivi no, was Van Dijk. Van Dijk and I thought Elliot was good as well. Actually, yesterday I thought Liverpool probably should have won it. Especially they won in the it. second half, they battered City. Yep. Yeah, they're at City with flat, which I don't know. Shame, isn't it? Tough look, lads. Do you think? <laughs> do you think? Uh, He's cramping up. No, slowly going down for some reason. Like, yeah. <laughs> Do you see how angry Kevin De Bruyne was when he came off? Yeah. That's what you want on your like team. Yeah. Real passion. He seems like a weird guy to get angry though. Like, he goes very high pitch. Do you know what I mean? Let me talk. Yeah. Uh, I think no. it's a weird, I think, no, I think he's a bit of a strange one. Why is he taking De Bruyne off? I, yeah, I agree. And even like Pep knew that it was a bad decision because he basically went straight up to the bench or like where the subs sit afterwards and was like, Really sorry, mate. I don't know if it's because. Well, um, it's funny you say this because actually Pep came out and spoke about the situation. Unless he thinks he's injured still. Well, well not fully fit, sorry. Pep said, uh, it's good that Kevin De Bruyne was annoyed. Have a good chance next game to prove it. We need a player who keeps the ball. It's not about pressing, and Kovacic is really good at that. We were happy with Kevin. It's not a problem. We're fine. I thought Kovacic yeah, was when, shit when he came on. When Pep says no, fine, Kovacic that, that actually was. doesn't. I don't think mean he was. Fine. He was. I don't think he was. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. He's still around. He barely gave the ball away. Mm, okay, he's still around. What? I, st I still think you leave <laughs> <Okay>. KDB <laughs> on for the potential. Yeah, he can just like he can just do anything. He's a match winner. Yeah, Kovacic just isn't that. He's a match type. winner. I think that's why he maybe did. Then he's playing for the draw. You reckon? But do you not think that's what it sounds like to so me? So you reckon he's just gonna play for the draw and then be like, "All right, Mikel." I've got one up on you. He's taking a bit of us. Like, we've already won. City looked like they were playing for the draw <clears throat> after like the 60th minute. Yeah, they, they didn't look very a good. Bit, I thought that was not very City-like, is it? Yeah, Haaland quite again. It's that aura of Anfield that scares them. I know, but... Well, like, that's one in Pep, nine now, right? Yeah, but Pepe's right. City, Liverpool also haven't won at the Etihad since Klopp's been there. Oh, really? Yeah, so there's just... And also, last season, City only beat one. I think City only beat one of the top nine away from home and they won a treble. So I wouldn't worry about not winning away. It's a crazy yeah. stat if true. I'm sure it is. I'm, I've seen a City fan tweet. It. They only beat one of the top nine true, away it's from been, It's been a long time since home grounds were home grounds. Good on them. Because they drew at your place, didn't they, last year, Louis? <laughs> yeah, 3-3. Three, three. <coughs> Sent Maximan masterclass on Carl Walker. Did they? I oh, know they beat you. Oh, that was a good day. Yeah. Do you think, do you think it could Maybe go I, down I to know. the final day, lads? Yeah, I, I think uh, it does. Uh, With, given how tight it points It could, but I don't think it will. Do you, uh, how, how, which is a bigger... Game yesterday's Liverpool City obviously depends on the result or Arsenal City. Well, it's now Arsenal City. Isn't Arsenal it? City is huge. Yeah, 
I'm going to find that tweet. If Ar- Tom, here's one for you. If Arsenal go well, you've got to the Etihad, much. get a draw or a win, thoughts on who wins the title? Well, thought not only thoughts on who wins the title, but he's going to be annoyed because his bet's lost. Yeah, What's no. that? If I, I, I found a, the tweet. But if yeah, Arsenal get a draw or a win at the Etihad, it's Theo said thoughts on the title, but not only that, you've lost your bet. Oh, with Theo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's something happen. Arsenal will be Arsenal comfortably. He's not I mean, entertaining. City will be Remind Arsenal us what the bet is for anyone who... Uh, it was a present for the following stream, because obviously we're going to stream that game. £100 present. Of £100 value, yeah. I'm not even going to be there for the stream. Well, the one after? No, for the actual Arsenal City game. Yeah, but it doesn't matter about that one. Yeah, true, true, true. The one after you get a present or don't. <laughs> Or give one. Yeah, sorry. Last season, the only team City beat away from home in the top nine was Arsenal. Class. And they won the treble. Well, Arsenal already won at the Emirates, you can see, this season. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's where we lost <laughs> last season. So, so did... Uh, if, if Arsenal want to win the league, they've got to beat Manchester City. But hey, speaking of... Uh, Football. Uh, we're going to be doing a little a combined 11 because we love this. Or a fun. segue. <laughs> yeah. it was, uh, no, no, it was one of your better. Going from football to Speak. more football on this show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, before we do that, before oh, we go on. Oh, yeah. no, speaking I wanna, of Arsenal wanna, City. Uh, before we touch on the, the Klopp versus Pep era combined 11. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, it's not really a versus though, is it? They're all mates. Well, did you? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah the it's Klopp and of, Pep. The end of the game. I'm sorry. I don't want to say agenda and this whole bias bollocks. But if that was like, do you think? Do you, do you think though both there would be more talk? They were fucking like. This is what I mean. Embarrassing. Do you think, do you think embarrassing. Both, do you think both squads in their minds are like, oh, we're so clear of the rest of this league, man. We're just best mates at the top here, man. Let's I go. I don't know what it is. I think they're all weird. I think it's it's, weird. I, 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 it's it, a culture that stems from the managers, though, isn't it? They it's just, just love shit, each other. Though. Yeah. Like, where, why are they not? They should be more competitive. And people saying, oh, sportsmanship. Fuck off. Like, wait until like the end of the season yeah. for all that shite. Like, hug a lot of five minutes. So out off the pitch, aren't they? That's the issue. I hate all of it, man. So people really, are like, oh, it's what, good because you have a bond no, in England like, team. Was like see around, like, saying goodbye to all the City players. I don't think he was. <laughs> no, he was. I'm going to see you again. He's like, ah, oh, <laughs> goodbye. I think just shaking their hands. He wasn't saying goodbye. Nah, he was like smiling and laughing with them. So what that doesn't mean he's saying goodbye. Like, ah, 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 you, you draw again. Oh, oh you've been uh, lip reading there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that, that just means that the Trent versus Haaland... Beef. pre-match beef was just fabricated mm. if they all well, just no, love each other Trent, anyway if Trent was on the pitch then they might have been like argy bargy mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh so you just sat out of this one like those those Liverpool players should be fuming if they feel like they should have had a pen not all like buzzing or we'll take that and huggy huggy but a, lot of the, a lot of them didn't appeal did they on the pitch yeah, just... this is the thing like in, in normal time I thought that's not a pen then you yeah. slow it down and see a still image and go yeah it could be so it's just like get over it man like yeah such a pundit um you know the whole. Like, but they're you, only watching it in normal time because they're in the game. That's true. But you know the whole like they, they love each other stuff. Did you see it after the Arsenal Brentford game though? Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was it, I saw it online. It was like, oh yeah, Arsenal aren't interested in Tony anymore because they just don't like him as a person. <laughs> yeah, he was like arguing with like Ben White a lot of the game. They were going at each other. He got pocketed well, by Gabriel. Yeah, Mar- I like that kind of feistiness in a yeah. number nine. Mar- Mar- was saying like him and Tony are like the the ones who chat the most shit on the pitch. Like when he did that like ranking. But I, I, I get the impression that we're not going after Tony because we're going after somebody bigger than that. Watkins. A, I don't even know who that could be. Where did they say that a Brentford might have to drop the asking price from 100 to like 60 mil? Well, yeah, he's, not, he, um, well, he's, he's been all right, but mate, not yeah. worth 100 of this. He almost got a 